Rupert's Tales, The Wheel of the Year, written by Kyra, illustrated by Tonya Bennington Osborne. Rupert's Longest Day Rupert the Rabbit twitched his nose, sniffing the air. He thought that today he'd better take extra care. He had watched many people arrive through the day and knew enough to stay hidden out of their way. The last thing he wanted was for someone to see him, so he sat quietly watching beneath a fallen tree limb. He had seen people in the forest before, a time or two, so he began to understand why they did the things they do. Still, they were a mystery, and he wanted to know more. Why did they come this time? What was in store? They came here from time to time, to this very place, this clearing that looked like a kind of round space. He watched and he'd waited, knowing they'd come back, to fill their hearts with things their cities and houses seemed to lack. The lady had once explained, disguised in feathers of white, how being in the forest helped people's hearts feel more right. The season of growing tasty things was now in full bloom, with afternoon clouds often bringing their wet, rainy gloom. The sun had long been raising his head earlier each day, and it seemed like there was always lots of time to play. The weather was turning from warm to hot, making him seek out shady places more often than not. So what was it, he wondered, about this time of year that made people leave their homes to gather here? Suddenly something sparkled out of the corner of his eye. Something tiny with wings that could flutter and fly. That tiny something swooped, soared and whirled. Then stopped itself right in front of him with a sparkly little twirl. Rupert squinted both of his big brown eyes then opened them wide with great surprise. You have a lot of questions running around in your mind, said the tiny little voice that was both friendly and kind. It was a fairy that hovered there in the space between his eyes and he wondered if it was the lady in yet another disguise. One moment the fairy seemed to be glowing the colour green, then changed to blue, then yellow, and many other colours in between. As he watched the fairy fluttering her tiny pretty wings, he thought that maybe she'd been sent to help explain a few things. Why yes, my fairy friend, that's exactly why I'm here. So listen closely, she giggled, and lend me your ear. Rupert grinned and rolled his eyes at the fairy's silly jest, but paid close attention to the meaning of her request. Today is the longest day of the year, she said when the sun takes a very long time to lay down his head. It's time, the fairy told him, for a change of seasons, though it will be a while before you feel the reasons. Time for a change already, Rupert exclaimed. He pouted, saying, if I'm unhappy, I can't be blamed. The grass is long and green and sweet and the clover right now is a delicious treat. If the season is changing, 
I'll soon be cold And the grass will shrivel Tasting dry and old Gazing at the people Gathered together He wondered if it was they Who changed the weather Oh Rupert The fairy sighed Shaking her head Be calm for a moment There's nothing to dread The seasons may come and go All throughout the year Those people come to celebrate What they hold dear It's not their fault one day you'll be cold Or the fact that the grass will taste musty and old God and Goddess long ago Put nature's rules into play So that in all things Balance would always hold sway There is a time for work And a time for rest All creatures know this From the east to the west There is a time for growing A time for dying Plants and animals Do these things without even trying As the season had begun So must it end And then one day It will come back again But I'll be cold Rupert said with a frown Picturing freezing snow Covering the ground The fairy smiled And shrugged her slim shoulders You can't stop the weather From turning colder Nature is nature It's always been this way For now, enjoy the sun on the longest day. Rupert sighed, not knowing what to say, then asked, how long will the weather stay this way? Oh, for months and months until autumn arrives, the sun will stay warm all of our lives. You mean the weather will stay hot as the days grow shorter? Rupert couldn't help giving a disbelieving snort. Oh yes, the fairy agreed, changing from orange to red. Isn't that exactly what I already said? That's the nature of nature. There isn't anything wrong. The days will grow shorter and the nights will grow long. Slowly, so slowly, you won't notice anything at all until they both are equal at the equinox in the fall. Well, Rupert said, that's a long time away. I'll still have lots of time in the sun to play. The fairy smiled, her pretty face turning daffodil yellow. I knew you'd understand. You're a smart little fellow. So those people there, they're happy too. Do you understand really what it is they do? Oh yes, my friend, they help in their own way. Giving thanks and praise, they celebrate the day. They usher in the new and bid farewell to the old. Even knowing they, like you, will someday soon be cold. Without the season's change, nature's balance would be gone, and they, like us, wouldn't last for long. To the god and goddess, their songs are a special treat, and their prayers add energy to make the day complete. What role they play, you and I will never know. But without them, the seasons just might cease to flow. Oh no, cried Rupert, a tremble in his voice. That would be a terrible, terrible choice. The fairy smiled as she raised one thin eyebrow. Do you think being cold for a while is so very bad now? No, Rupert smiled. No, it's really not. Besides, he said, 
I have months and months to play while it's still hot. Then stay if you will, or go play in the sun. It will be a long time before these people are done. And while you're giving those long legs a good healthy run, make sure you take a moment to honour the sun. The moon is the symbol of Our Lady, maiden mother and crone. But remember the sun represents our Lord, who shares her throne. Balance, my friend, remember it well. May the Lord and Lady in your heart always dwell. <laughs>